so I guess we'll start out with um, introduction. Exactly. Yeah. Who are you for someone who doesn't know you? Got it. Got it. Um, Simona Kigueba. I live in Nashville. I'm a sous chef here at Josephine. I came from a background of a small family, first generation American. Uh, my parents are from Burundi. This is an East African nation. Uh, grew up in a couple different places and found my way to cooking through my history. Um, just growing up in a family who was always centered around the table, as well as um, instances where I saw food interact with culture in a way that was deeply moving for myself. Well, I'm Kayla May. I'm the pastry chef at Josephine's. I've lived in Nashville about six years. I spent some time in New York. I went to culinary school at the French Culinary Institute. I was going to be a doctor. Um, my mom is a physician and my sister is in her fourth year of medical school, so it just was the family business. It made sense. My sophomore year of college, I went to study in Italy and spent some time in France. I spent a long weekend in Paris and I was supposed to go to the Louvre and the Eiffel Tower and see all the museums and somehow I ended up in front of every single patisserie I could find. I'm Steve. Um, I was born and raised in New Jersey at the shore. I first started cooking when I was 16, decided I might want to try something else, get out of business, and go to college and see if there's something else I might want to do. And for going to Keene University up in North Jersey, I realized there was nothing else I wanted to do other than cook. I would say currently this is the, the best moment, the best time in my career. I've never been more satisfied with, my, with the work that I'm producing than I am right now. May be a little cheesy, but yeah. and it's a people's business, and I get great joy out of cooking and fulfilling a great evening or whatever it may be, an afternoon for somebody. And um, that's one of the main reasons why I love to cook. Um, Marcus Rhodes, Memphis, Tennessee native, sous chef here at Josephine. Earliest childhood memory of cooking is actually with my grandfather. I spent a lot of time with my grandfather as a youth. I'd always be at his house Saturday mornings, man, and he'd pick me up, and sit me on the counter, and he'd cut a grapefruit in half and give me the spoon, and I'd sit on the counter and eat my grapefruit, and he always made me what he called flapjacks, a huge pancake that was always the exact same size on my plate, and I always thought it was just amazing how he always made it the size of my plate. But as I got older, found out that the skillet was the same size of the plate, so it really wasn't magic at all. <laughs> Even as a kid, six, seven years old, I would be in the kitchen cooking stuff I wasn't supposed to. If my mom had something put up for her and my pops to have for dinner, I'd be the kid getting in trouble for cooking it for lunch while they were at work. So it's kind of always, well, cooking has always been like a major part of my life, since far back as I can remember.